I'm a local child of Enoch, okay? So I'm a dedicated uh, secondary teacher of mathematics and uh, with an extensive experience as a Cambridge assessment uh, specialist. Uh, my role actually includes serving as an examiner uh, for Cambridge International AS and A-level mathematics, IGCSE O-level and uh, OCR qualifications, as well as uh, moderating and examining level 3 uh, mathematics. Okay, guys, uh, now beyond uh, teaching, I have a passion uh, for coding, robotics, programming, video games. I'm super good in video games, just check it out. So, animations and uh, web development. Okay, so um, as a member of Time Education Supplement UK, that's TES, uh, I'm also a YouTuber and a blogger. So, I focus on quality e learning and resources to enhance students' um, learning in mathematics and ICT. Okay. So uh, my vision is actually to establish a team committed to uh, fostering uh, excellence in mathematics and technology oriented subject across um, secondary school uh, worldwide, internationally. Okay, so uh, in my role, okay, I have developed and tailored uh, e-learning resources and I've recorded uh, scores of video sections that align with assessment uh, objectives. Okay, so um, I have over 10 years experience, uh, primarily as a mathematics teacher anyway, alongside two uh, years experience in ICT. Okay, I actually started my teaching career back in my country in Nigeria. Okay, that was in 2014. Uh, 2013 to be candid, to be candid. So 2013, I joined our first academy, uh, that's uh, Green Road, Ibadan. Uh, from that experience, just like um, five months there, then I got another role with um, Concord School, uh, that Ibadan also. Then I um, actually tried to continue my uh, career, okay, like education. So then I applied for master, okay, in statistics. Then I traveled from Ibadan to Lagos and um, in pursuit of my master programming, uh, sorry, master in statistics. Okay, so from there, then I worked with uh, Vivian Fowler um, College for Girls, uh, like three years there. <laughs> so it was quite interesting. So uh, from uh, before Fala, I moved to Avicenna School, and um, during COVID, then I stopped on-site uh, teaching. Then I went into um, online lecturing uh, for about roughly seven months. <laughs> okay, so then it was like COVID is over in Nigeria. Then then I went back to yeah on-site teaching uh, lecturing. So that's I joined Pinefield. So uh, in the year twenty twenty three, uh, February to be precise. So yeah, I moved with my family to the UK, okay? So yeah, <laughs> by that time I've got like 10, 10 years teaching experience. So I applied, uh, I just got like, a, like applied to a teacher agency, um, yeah, supply teacher agency, uh, that's AK Teaching. Uh, AK Teaching sent me to Thomas Bewick, it, it's a same school. Uh, so yeah, that's how I just continued, started my teaching career in the UK. Uh, School Thomas Rubik. It's quite it's lovely anyway. So uh, my commitment to teaching profession stem uh, from a desire uh, to showcase how fascinating mathematics and uh, science and technology can be, ultimately preparing students um, for their career prospects. Okay, so uh, my aim is not to gain fans, don't forget uh, I'm a YouTuber, but yeah, my aim is never to gain fans to be candid, um, but to enhance my personal aptitude and, and nurture uh, my student potentials. Okay, so now uh, let's just start with uh, something interesting like my teaching career. Okay, so throughout my career, I've had the privilege of working with various um, age groups, uh, focusing on secondary education to be precise, because I'm a secondary teacher of mathematics, that's my expertise. So my students include position at, uh, that, that, that was my last uh, position actually at St. Bennett Bisco Catholic Academic uh, as a secondary mathematics teacher, that's as uh, Newcastle. Then also, uh, then I also work with uh, Newcastle Royal Grammar School, it's an independent school, <laughs> quite powerful. Okay, so as a visiting lecturer for IGCSE and A-level mathematics. Then I also work with Sutherland College as a GCSE uh, mathematics lecturer and programming leader at um, Newcastle College sixth form as a GCSE and A-level mathematics. Okay, I actually give a one-to-one -one tutorial there also. Yeah, but additionally, I'm a member of the Board of Oxford and Cambridge Assessment Specialists, don't forget. I'm uh, working as an assistant examiner. CIE, uh, CIE is actually a Cambridge International Examiner, like in my own country and every other country outside UK. Um, the examination body, CIE, that we write IGCSE, that is international yeah, GCSE. Okay, so yeah, but now uh, also I uh, do moderation work for OCR and AQA. 
So I have a strong mastery of international curriculum. Yeah, back in my own country, and yeah, also I still work. Um, yeah, I still do some IGCSE. Yeah, um, yeah, moderation work. Uh, and the UK national curriculum, uh, and that includes AQA, ATL, OCR, uh, 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 many other. So as a dedicated educator, I am hardworking, well organized, and committed to my students' uh, success. I enjoy exploring innovative teaching technology such as flipped learning uh, to enhance students um, engagement and uh, understanding so i have um, i have successfully prepared students to be candidates for various national and international examination and uh, this include um, gcse igcse a level sat ax ib and various um, cambridge assessments okay so in addition to my teaching responsibilities i am a freelancer okay so youtuber content creator and a test author uh, where i develop um learning resources to aid uh, my students uh, learning in mathematics and ICT. So my publication and resources are available, are available uh, on platforms like TES, Time Education Supplement, uh, YouTube, uh, Amazon, and are designed to meet international standards to be precise and have positively um, impacted many students. Yeah, I've actually uh, positively impacted many students um, worldwide to be candid. So through my dedication and experience, uh, I aim to inspire my students and uh, help them achieve excellence in academic uh, in academic pursuit. Okay, so now throughout my teaching career, I had the opportunity to work in a diverse range of schools, uh, including primary education, secondary settings, special education, this same, yeah, Thomas B. <laughs> so institution. So uh, primary, uh, in primary education, I have engaged with national curriculum and uh, focusing on mathematics in key stage two. And uh, this curriculum uh, actually covers uh, essential topics uh, such as numbers, place value, addition, <laughs> subtraction, basic arithmetic to be candid. So, yeah. And um, my experience in primary school has actually reinforced my foundation teaching skills and allowed me to foster a strong appreciation for mathematics among young learners. Okay, so yeah, for secondary school, I have spent a significant proportion of my career in secondary uh, education settings where I've taught across uh, various key stage, uh, key stage three, four, five, <laughs> level. Okay, so yeah, um, I prepared them for crucial examination like the GCSC, okay, and A-level GCSE. Uh, additionally, I have experienced in key stage five, uh, teaching students age 16 to 18, especially in IGCSE and A-level courses. Okay, uh, but overall, my diverse experience uh, across different school types have uh, equipped me uh, with a well-rounded um, perspective on education, allowing me to uh, effectively support students as at the various levels uh, with different learning needs. Yeah, different learning needs. So, um, to be kind of like stepping into a new school as a supply teacher, yeah, long term role, <laughs> yeah, or cover supervisor. Well, so yeah, that can both exciting and uh, challenging to be candid. So, um, how do I approach uh, to ensure a positive impact? Okay, one, um, preparation before arrival. So, um, uh, we need to research about the school, um, gather resources, don't forget. Um, learning developer so yeah then i uh, will need to build a strong relationship and um, positive first impression okay so and establish um authority and report that's classroom management so uh, i need to adapt to um your school environment i'll uh, observe classroom dynamics and adjust uh, my approach accordingly and if i notice certain students uh, need more guidance or probably there's a need for one-to-one -one, um teaching because quite a good number of students probably they don't they find it quite difficult to learn uh, in probably like a form of group learning. So the, for such kind of students, you have to build like a one-to-one -one, uh, tutoring. So I'll, prov um, so I'll provide that uh, without losing the sight of lesson objective. <laughs> so also I need to connect to staff because uh, when I communicate with um, like the teaching staff, they will probably have a re good record of the student and their needs. So I need to understand their specific needs, concerns and ongoing projects. So uh, their insight can also be um, valuable for a smooth transition. Yeah, definitely. So definitely also providing uh, provide feedback. So at the end of, of the day, uh, I might have to leave a brief note for a regular teacher. Uh, I liked what um, went well and uh, my challenge, <laughs> probably challenge phase, and this show professionalism and commitment. You have to be candid. So then I uh, reflect and adapt. Uh, self reflection after uh, each lesson, or probably at the end of the day, I uh, reflect on what worked. Um, yeah, well, uh, uh, what uh, probably I didn't really like. So this will help me to adjust um, to different strategies uh, adapt uh, in future. So um, I need to stay flexible because um, quite a few numbers of students find uh, mathematics quite abstract and challenging. So I need to make uh, yeah mathematics um, quite practicable for for them to understand. 
Yeah, I would like to actually focus on building relationship and uh, maintaining open communication uh, and being adaptable. So I aim at create a, uh, creating a positive and impactful experience uh, for both students uh, and the school community. Yeah, thank you.